Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. This tutorial covers e-filing the W2C forms using e-file direct. The IRS recently released final regulations amending the filing rules for W2 and 1099 returns and other documents, including the W2 forms. See IRS e-file regulations for more information. The e-file threshold has officially been lowered from 250 to 10 forms in tax year 2023, to be filed in 2024. This regulation includes the total for all aggregated forms. This creates a file using the W2C data that has been entered. Once the file is created, it is the user's responsibility to upload the file using the SSA's business services online. A user ID is required from the SSA prior to using eFile Direct. Review business services online for additional information. To begin, the pair, ABC Payroll, has been created. And the data has been entered for the W2C forms. This is the main menu. To continue, select eFiler. This is the eFiler menu. Select eFile Services. Now click OK. In order to use the e-file services, you will create an account with a username and password. This information logs you into the third-party system so that you can submit the information for processing. The login information that is entered should be for the user that is submitting the data. All fields in red are required, the others are optional. You can also elect to remember password so that you will not be prompted to enter it during the e-filing process. Fill out all of the required fields and click Submit. In a few moments, you will receive a message that the account was created and or updated successfully. If you receive an error, correct it and resubmit again. Click OK to continue. Once the account is set up, we are ready to e-file. Select, Create New Batch. Here are your e-filing options. Select W2C as the form type. Select e-file to the SSA. Notice that this summary section describes the selections that were made. Click OK. Enter the W2C tax year. Click OK. This is the transmitter screen. Filling it out is optional. You can fill it out but the information is not needed, including the user ID. Click OK. Next, check the pairs that are to be included in the e-file. Multiple pairs can be selected. For the tutorial, select ABC Payroll. Click OK. Select a default, kind of pair. Click OK. This prompt will display for each pair. If multiple pairs are selected, it is important to answer the prompt for each one correctly. Make sure to select, skip, if there is no data for that pair. Otherwise, the process will abort. Click process. At this point, the pairs and forms are being processed for any errors or warnings. If there are any errors, they must be corrected or the file will not be created. If you add other pairs to process, Select Process More Pairs. This will take you back to the Select Pair screen, where you can select other pairs to include in the file. To continue, select Continue. Click OK. The data is ready to submit to the third-party vendor. The amount of time that it takes will depend on the number of forms and your internet connection. Click Start. If any errors are found, you will get this message and the e-file services process will abort. You will need to correct any errors. To view the errors, click OK. This is the error screen. The errors will be listed at the bottom. In this example, the pair is missing the city. You will need to quit the e-filer at this time, and go into the W2 and 1099 forms filer and enter the pair's city on the W2C form. Then restart the e-filing process again. Close the error screen. When there are no errors, the forms will be assigned a batch ID, in this case, 1, 4, 
zero nine 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 and the status is unpaid at this point the third party vendor has the forms but until the batch is paid for it is not sent to the ssa to pay for the batch check the box beside the batch number click pay selected batches if the batch is ready to be processed confirm that the batch number is correct once yes is clicked the batch cannot be cancelled click yes to continue if the payment information has not been set up the credit card information will need to be set up on a secure website click add card you will be directed to a secure website to set up the credit card information enter the information and click submit when the credit card information has been added click ok select the credit card click ok at this point the third party vendor has received and accepted the payment information click ok once the payment is accepted the status for the batch will become paid and invoice paid is added to the itemized status section the paid status indicates that the third party vendor is processing the batch to submit to the IRS. There are several steps during the batch processing, and the number of steps depends on the e file service selected. Batch processing could be completed in a day, or may take several weeks to complete. Double click on the batch ID to update the status messages. After invoice paid, the next status is filing queued, filing complete and then filing accepted filing complete indicates that the SSA has the batch but they have not processed it yet filing accepted means that the SSA has processed the forms in the batch and they have accepted them that batch is completed if the batch is rejected correct the errors and resubmit again starting at the beginning close the e-file services screen once the batch is paid, either submit additional batches or close e-file services. To check the batch status at another time, at the e-filer menu, select e-file services and click OK. For further questions, please review the frequently asked questions on our website. Technical support can be reached by email, fax, chat or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 etc. program. Have a great day.